Hello and welcome to another video filled with scams and scammers. This time we don't have to run out in the streets because somebody else did the job for us. There's a Czech show called Police in Action. It's sort of wannabe cops show that you may know from US. And what they do is they catch crooks and film it. I was sent this specific episode by one of our viewers and he said, you guys gotta watch this because it is the exact topic that we cover with Hansa. A tourist is being offered expired money in Old Town Square by a scammer that claims uh, that the money is check crowns and that he will give him a better deal. Let's see how the cops in this check show will react to it. Is that the girl from the yogurt commercial? Dude, I swear I remember her from that. That's strange, she's a cop now. Well, you're the only police car driving through Old Town Square. I bet he's gonna find you. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm a tourist from, from Netherlands. You're a tourist from Netherlands? Oh, it seems to me you're an actor who just got his first acting lesson, but I'll let you speak. Yes. I just, I just uh, go into, I just wanted to see a side scene when, yes. when, and? when somebody was trying to give me a, a not real money. Somebody was trying to give you not real money? Well, that sounds like a scam. Please continue. He was, he, he was speaking some English, little English, but... Just like you, I guess. But he was trying to rip me off and, and you know, he was like... He want yeah, I think at that moment you're gonna have a problem if you push a cop, but let's see how she's gonna deal with that. Like, she wants yes. to kick like that. She's fine. Just stay here or go with us. We're going after the man with the glasses. Because that's a description that only fits one person out of 2,000 on the square. Good, they got him. I had to use handcuffs that I actually dropped, so my colleague brought them to me, which is good. This is the cop of the year, man. Commercial break. This episode of The Honest Guide is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Thank you guys for partnering with us. And if you don't know what a VPN is, it can help you stay hidden and protected in the online world. Uh, for example, I'm right now sitting in Prague, Czech Republic, but I can use a VPN service to put my IP address uh, in another location, US, Germany, wherever around the world, there are so many locations to pick from. And then it may, for example, be easier for you to access content that is otherwise restricted for that country. And I'm sure you want a discount and we got that. If you click the link below our video, you will get 83% off and three months for free with using the honest guide code. And you know, people like to save money. <laughs> That's it for today's message. Thank you, Surfshark VPN, once again for partnering with us. And let's go back to the video breakdown. Romania. Now he's asking the man where he's from, and he's replying, I'm from Romania. Now the police officer is pointing that this man dropped an envelope with something. Let's see what's in the envelope. Kolegyně si nevšimla, ale jak já jsem běžel vlastně bokem, tak jsem zahlédl, kdy muž zahodil nějakou obálku s nějakým obsahem. We got the envelope. Hala, pěti koukni do toho, já nemám rukavice. Špaka, bari, parusky. No, the man just told you he's from Romania. They speak Romanian in Romania, but that's okay. Rumunský prachy. Okay, there's Romanian money in the envelope and we actually did some research on this and from what we can see, and maybe you can help us if you're from Romania, it is 100 Romanian lei. Let's see. 
V dnešní době se bohužel čím dál častěji setkáváme s tím, že rumunský příslušníci nabízejí rumunskou měnu jako české koruny, protože rumunská měna má mnohem nižší hodnotu než česká koruna. Hmm, that's interesting, because if they would do that, they would only be cheating themselves, because Romanian money is worth more than Czech money. Well, I guess where we're going with this by now. This is a fake show. It's fake cops fake scammers. It's based on our videos, but they didn't even get it right. So here's how it is. Yes, there are some Romanian, Bulgarian, whatever nationality scammers. They run around and they give to tourists expired money that is worthless, that has no value. And it is these mostly expired Belarusian rubles. So they claim this to be, you know, Czech crowns worth something. If they would run around and give to people Romanian lei at the exchange rate of Czech crowns, they would lose five times the value because one Romanian lei is worth five Czech crowns. So if this was a real story, the guy in the black leather jacket was trying to give the poor man from Romanian five times more than his money was worth. And these cops are the bad guys because they stopped this from happening. Just to be completely fair here, the Romanian money did went through a change. So the previous bills are worthless. Uh, they, were, they had huge uh, bills, like almost million lei, uh, which are now not valid. But from what we could find from the envelope, this poor man had the actual valid lay Romanian money. I guess the TV crew was just too lazy to get the old bills, huh? Hey guys, we need some uh, Romanian money. All right, here you go. All right, thanks. <laughs> no, he just told you he doesn't speak Russian. He's a Romanian guy trying to help tourists by giving them five times more than the money is worth. Come on. He just told your colleague twice he does not speak Russian. You don't have to ask him again and again and again. Come on. Should I mention that the cop car is parked illegally? No, let's just move on because it's not a real cop car. It's a fake cop car. It's a fake cop. Whatever. Bohužel v dnešní době je to velmi běžná činnost rumunské národnosti, která přicestuje do České republiky a vnímáme to vlastně v celku denně několik desítek vlastně turistů. Yes, it does happen every day in Prague. And it actually does, which means that your TV crew and your bad actors and your fake cop car, you could have just waited a minute and got the real action on tape. But you were too lazy, so you just watched our video and they're like, yeah, we can just fake it, let's just, you know, get the cheapest actor you can get. This guy, yeah, we can go lower than that. This show is completely fake and the Czech police even claims it on their website. They're saying that we don't want to have to do anything with this show, we don't support it, and they believe, just like we do, that it's hurting the work of the police officers in Czech Republic more than it would be helping. Unfortunately, some people do believe that this is a real show. It is completely fake and there should be a big red sign over the entire show. Fake, entirely fake. Uh, badly paid actors, bad actors, and just, oh gosh. I do not want to trash talk people working on the show or the actors, which I'm pretty much doing, but I really think you're causing more damage uh, than help or than good uh, for what you're doing. All that being said, we absolutely treasure the work of the Czech police and of the city police. Thank you for what you're doing and for helping our state, our city uh, be safe and stay safe. Uh, so mad respect to you and I hope you just like us don't like this bizarre show. If you want to watch that, uh, the links will be in the below the video so you can uh, go through it, maybe learn some Czech, like the word zduchnout. And that's it from us, the honest guides. Honza, Janek, here in my uh, wannabe new studio. Uh, we're gonna do some live streams too from here. So uh, if you consider subscribing, it will make us happy. And here's a Czech word for you at the end of the episode, which today is Herec, actor. Herec is an actor. Herečka is actress. Herečka. Herec a herečka.